Greetings, everyone. My name is Elizabeth Hall, and I'm going to be taking you through some basic features of real-time board that you can begin to use as you get started with the software. So um, again, this is cl cloud computed, so I'm able to access it through the internet, and it's always here on um, the website, so you don't need to download anything. You can just go right onto your browser and uh, log in first to your real-time board. Um, I logged in with my account through the university, so you can see that's over here. And so I'm going to show you just kind of how you can go about this. Right here you can see that they kind of take you through the first steps, so I'm going to just let the uh, little tutorial t take it away here. So as you can see, you can add content using this button on the side. It says here you can use uh, this button to load images, documents, and other objects from the library or drag and drop them to the board from your desktop. So I could just go down here and grab a file and just pull it into the whiteboard space. I can also add notes. I can use these post-it notes uh, or I can just directly write using the text box. And here's where I can invite collaborators. So for my uh, master's project, I'm going to be working with Dr. Zhang, who is a professor here at the University of Akron. So once I'm finished with this particular board that I'm working on for her class, I will share it with her. And she can also invite all of the other students in our class to view this particular board. And I can even select who can view which boards, I can make several boards and share them with selected people and I will show you this in a later video. And so basically those are the main features that you need to get started. It kind of takes you through this as you can see and so it makes it really user friendly and it does the same thing for a student if you log in and you've never used it before, it'll take you through this tutorial. So that kind of cuts down on the instructional time as well that you need to really go into this into detail. And so you can choose a template once you get started. I'm going to look at these and just pick what I think looks good. It seems like they have very a uh, very wide selection in what you can choose from so there it fits kind of the purpose of what you need to use it for for me since um, they're going to be organizing information and putting it into a graphic organizer I could go with just a different kind of canvas here maybe a project canvas or just uh, Let's see, app development. There's also brainstorming and note taking. Perhaps maybe a mind map would be the best. So we'll see what that looks like. You can see here that they kind of set it up for you and talk about what each of these is supposed to uh, do when you use it. So you can see there's a particular purpose for using this. So I just dropped it down in there and so I can begin typing in here what I want to say. And from there I can add different things to it to make it my own, just building off the template. And so you could see how a student could go in here and choose the particular template they need to work out an idea and build on it. And in a later video I'm going to be showing you just exactly how we use this um, in a particular case as well.